Welcome back. Formula One has grown dramatically in popularity, especially in the United States. You have people who you would never suspect to know names of drivers like Max Verstappen or Lewis Hamilton, but now they pretty much have become household names. That has increased the demand for Formula One memorabilia, including models. Spartan Models has been around quite some time, and they've been making Formula One cars throughout pretty much the time of their existence. But in the last few years, the quality of their models has grown dramatically, especially in the last year. Spark is now what I would call definitely a premium model company, especially when it comes to their Formula One efforts. This year, and at the end of last year, their packaging has changed. It's a much more better quality material. There are preview windows on the box, and the models now come with an acrylic case. Now, there hasn't been a price increase, but I hear there will be one, so just be aware of that as well. The model that I'm reviewing today is fantastic. I'm going to save you some time instead of waiting to the end to tell you, if you are into value appreciations, this definitely gets the $3 signs. That's how great this model is. Now let's go to the model. This is the Aston Martin AMR 22, the number five Emilia Romagna Grand Prix of 2022 driven by Sebastian Vettel. And I am amazed at this model. The fit and finish of this model are outstanding. You can tell that Spark has definitely increased their quality and attention to details in their models. It's very present here. This is a very stunning piece by Spark Models. This is a 118th scale, like the vast majority of what I do show on this channel. The other thing I want to point out, because I'm pretty sure you're wondering why this border is on here, this is removable. This is actually a borrowed model from a subscriber, and they wanted to keep everything intact, so I respected that for them. So that's the only reason why that's there. But I do appreciate the allowing me to borrow this. Just viewing the back of this model, you have these very realistic looking tires. Again, they don't look like plastic or cheap rubber. They look like real good quality, realistic tires. The exhaust has a metallic feel. I believe this is a aluminum piece. If you notice, it is very deep and hollow unlike some other brands where you would actually see the end of the um, basically it's filled in this is not filled in it's a full hollow piece and i'm really appreciative of that because it drives me crazy when i look into an exhaust you can see the end of it very nice leds here as well as on this side of the rear wing Moving on to the front of the model, can you have this very well detailed front wing? And the thing that I really can appreciate about this is that all the elements are included there. You can see the metal appendages that hold these elements together, and they're all clearly there. Very nicely done textured carbon fiber. Get very nicely done tires, very realistic. You can also see that they made sure that they kept that camber that is in the actual real car. So that's negative camber, that's those wheels tilting inward. You can see it there as well. The aerials are metallic or metal as they should be. So they're not plastic pieces very accurate to the real thing as well. The one thing I liked about a lot of these 2022 models were the inclusion of these vents here. And these are done very well by Spark. I did a review of a Barago Ferrari about a month ago, and the Ferrari also has these vents. But as we know, Barago is a budget brand. And so you had the vents, but they weren't true vents. And this model, 
they are true vents. You can see that there's holes throughout these vents. So again, it gives this model a little more realism to it. And I can definitely appreciate that. All of the print on this model is very well done. There are no issues with it at all. They are tampo printed. And just the way that they look and the way that they were put onto this model, I don't have any fear of them ever wearing off or peeling off or anything like that. This green paint is fantastic. It has this very nice metallic look to it. Focusing on the driver, as you can see, the helmet is very well detailed. Something else that Aston or Aston Martin, something else that Spark also does extremely well, and I haven't seen this in any other um, model, is that you can see through the helmet visor the driver's face. The first time I saw that, I was amazed. My jaw dropped. Another addition to their newer models is the seat belts. The seat belts are photo etched. You can see those metal buckles there. You can see the vinyl or stitched seat belts are there as well. Very nicely detailed steering wheel. Closer look at those vents, as I mentioned. Those are true vents. And then that paint finish, it's just fantastic. All of the suspension details are there as they should be. That goes for the back of the model as well. Interesting thing about this newer 2022 car is that the Aston Martin has to be one of the most simplified uh, Formula One car of this era. As be I don't see a ton of aero bits like you typically see. Like throughout the ground effect here if any little small elements or things like that as I review more of these I'd be curious to see the differences in those obviously there's tons of videos that talk about the different arrow bits and things like that but it's really nice to see it in a model up close please like and subscribe that is the best way that I'm gonna know that you're enjoying these videos I appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time.